In this video, I'll be answering the question you see on the screen here from paper 33 from the year 2024 Cambridge A-level exams. If you're looking for a different question from this paper, there should be a link to a playlist in the description below. And if you're looking for a different paper, have a look around on my channel. I'll be doing all this on a whiteboard, hopefully just like you're used to your teacher doing. But remember, we're not in a classroom, so take advantage of YouTube, pause, rewind, whatever helps you out. Uh, if you find this or any of my videos useful, I would greatly appreciate a like, a subscribe, or even a share. Question four is quite a common question, so there's a good chance you will see this again. They start off by telling us about an equation that looks like this, k times y is equal to e to the power of cx. And then they also tell us if we graph that with x versus natural log y, it will get a straight line that um, has these two points on it. And that's quite important, a straight line. We know what a straight line looks like. We know what a formula of a straight line looks like. Even more important, we know how to get the slope of a straight line. Let me write the, the formula of a straight line. You probably think of it as y is equal mx plus c. Different c, by the way. This is just how you're used to looking at it. Except it's not this case. This doesn't look like this. What the equation of a line should say is the y-axis is equal to m times the x-axis plus c. The x-axis is x, that's fine. The y-axis though is actually natural log of y. So be careful about that. This is what uh, we know the line looks like. So the slope of that line is whatever number's here. Um, again, this, this is not the m and the c we're looking for. So that, I just want you to think of that as an idea. If we find the slope of these numbers, we would get this number here. So the idea is to make this look like a line. We, we know we should be able to make it look like a line because we know a line appears. Uh, so how do you do that? Um, there should be a couple of clues. One, we know we want to get a natural log y somewhere. So let's get the natural log of y. Another clue would be the natural log destroys this e. So you should be thinking natural log up here. Let's take the natural log of both sides, uh, ky, is equal, well let me write it all out, natural log e cx. So natural log of two numbers multiplying. That, uh, we can write that as natural log of k plus natural log of y. And natural log of the exponential just destroy each other and leave what's up here, that's cx. And uh, we're, we're nearly looking like we wanted to look. Uh, natural log y on its own is equal to something times x um, plus something, uh, in this case it's plus, yeah, let me write it like this, plus minus natural log k. So it is how we expect the line to look. Um, the y-axis is equal to something, a constant, times the x-axis plus a constant. They told us k was a constant, so the natural log of k must be a, must be a constant. Um, now there's a couple of ways to do this. We could just start filling numbers in. We could fill these numbers, we know what x is, we know what natural log y is from up here. We get two equations in c and k and solve for them. That's uh, one way. Uh, a more elegant way I like to think of is, let's find the slope. Let's just find the slope of this because it must be c. That's how I like to do it. Um, so the slope is, it's not too complicated. Let me write this, instead of m, I'll write slope equals uh, 2 minus, uh, sorry, 2.21 minus 0 0.372 divided by 5.1 minus 2.8. And if you put all that into a calculator, we will get, um, yeah, we get a 919 divided by 1150. But that's C, that's equal to C. And they wanted C to two significant figures. So I have that as 0 0.80. I think it was a 7999 or something like that. Okay, so that's part of our answer, C. We just still need to get K. So how do we do that? Um, at this point, we know what C is. We have a few answers for X, and we have a few answers for natural log Y. Be careful here. Uh, you could use this equation as well. We have C, we have answers for X. We don't actually have Y, so be careful about using this. In fact, I will use this just to show you how. Uh, it probably it's easier to use this one here, and you solve this, and you'd get find out what natural log k is, and then you'd have to change that into k. I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to I'm going to use one of these points, 
but I want to know what y is. Natural log of y is, uh, let's say this one here, 2.21. That means y must equal e to the power of 2.21. Now that I know what y is, I can just use this equation to find k. Uh, k multiplied by y, which is e 2.21, is equal to e to the power of uh, c. Um, you could go, sorry, uh, 8.0. You could use the exact form, I usually do, uh, but because we're rounding off both of them to two significant figures, it's not gonna matter. Um, uh, e to the power of 0 0.8 times x. Uh, we use this y, so we better use this x. That's 5.1. Um, that means k is equal e to the power of 0 0.8 times 5.1 all divided by e to the power of 2.21. Put all that into a calculator, let me just check my own notes, and uh, the two significant figures we get 6.5. Uh, um, yeah, two significant figures, sorry, not two decimal places, two significant figures. Okay, that's the answer to question four. If you have any follow-on questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.